Que se haya igual a mí. Eh, igual a mí, claro, guau, pero ¿cómo agarro este? Mira, mira, se lleva, se lleva. Yo soy Gatebe, come on, I'll take it, I'll take it. What's up everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here. I just arrived in La Isla del Encanto, AKA Puerto Rico. This is a US territory located in the Caribbean and it was founded by Christopher Columbus back in the year 1493 during his second voyage. I took a quick two and a half hour flight direct from Miami to Puerto Rico and I'm staying here at the Intercontinental San Juan for the next five days exploring the island. During the trip, I'm gonna be visiting Old San Juan El Yunque Rainforest, eating local food, and if the weather is good, we might even go to the island of Culebra. Today I'm gonna take you to the Piñones area to try some typical Puerto Rican food at a kiosco, which is a hut. But first, let me show you my suite at the Intercontinental San Juan. And by the way, if you didn't know, piña coladas are like the typical drink here. Drink a piña colada in a piña is a must. So this is my Intercontinental club suite. It's huge. We have a living room. We got a small little dining room over there. Over here we have the bedroom. Huge bed. Obviously TV. We got a little work area here. Work out of here. Got a beautiful view looking over the pool and the beach. The Intercontinental San Juan has 398 rooms and a two mile beach. They're located between Old San Juan and the airport. Really close to the airport, about five minute drive. And this is my bathroom. I love this place. And walk-in closet, really nice. Oh, I can't wait to sleep in this room. I'm gonna have a blast here in Puerto Rico. This is my second time on this island. Last time was like 11 years ago. Snack bar. So now let's head to Piñones. Let's eat some Puerto Rican food. I can't wait, I'm so hungry. Let's do it. We're headed now to Piñones. Piñones is an area about two miles away from the hotel. And here we're gonna try typical Puerto Rican food. It's basically one street with a lot of restaurants and kiosks. Kiosks again are like small huts with food. We're gonna try a few different things. Bacalaitos, alcapurias, eh, rellenos de papas, mofongo, and we're gonna have medalla, which is the beer of Puerto Rico. And yeah, when they were telling me also this is like Afro-Caribbean food. Afro-Caribbean mix. Yep. Not just Puerto Rican food. Nice. And there's also a beach there, so you can go to the beach, you go eat, go back to the beach. It looks amazing. It's uh, 92 degrees right now, so we're gonna be baking in the sun, but it's cool. I'm fine. <laughs> it's, it's windy, you gotta it's, go wind. It's windy, right? Yeah. And he's saying there's a lot of food, but you guys know I can eat, so let's do it. <laughs> Our first stop here in Piñones is Donda Olga Bar and Restaurant. My plan is to stop at a few different restaurants and try a dish at each place. Let's go inside and eat some food. Donde Olga is like an open air restaurant. It's one of the first restaurants here in Piñones. And here you can see how they make the food. So as you can see, they, we just filmed them making acapurias. They make two different versions. They make a crab version. So stuff with crab or stuff with meat. And basically it's just fried dough with crab meat or beef inside. Looks very nice. And then here we have bacalito. And this is basically a fried uh, codfish. Just uh, it's codfish and some dough thrown in. They fry it, and here we have it. Mm. Oh, delicious! We put some herbs in it. It's very thin, as you can see. Oh, you can taste the chunks of cod. Mm. Look at that. Very greasy in here. It's very delicious. Mmm. Very juicy. It's amazing. They said that you have to drink a beer with all this. No, it's fried food. Oh wow. Mmm. It's so good. Here in Puerto Rico, there's a lot of food that's fried, but most of it has seafood because we're obviously on an island. This is so delicious. You can see the batter. You can see the chunks of. Cod. I'm surprised there's no sauces, but that's cool. I was so hungry. Oh yeah. Wow. So next up we have the alcapuria. This is stuffed dough with crab meat. 
or beef. I recommend going with crab because obviously we're on an island. You should always go with seafood if you're on an island. Here we go. Oh man. Mmm. So soft, so yummy. This is like a huge croqueta. Definitely taste the plantain in here. You can see the crab meat right there. Oh, it's delicious. It's mouth-watering. Mmm. Very country, and when you bite into it, the entire inside is just purely like butter. It's like super soft. Mmm. Oh wow, look at all that crab meat. It's amazing, but I can't eat this every day. Turn into a ball. There's three like national beers on the island, and they recommended me to go with Magna. It's a premium lager. Yeah, it's a, it's more light beer, definitely for the beach, island life. Pretty good. Tacapuri and the bacalarito are two very, very typical things to try in Puerto Rico. We tried it there at Don de Olga, and now we're gonna continue walking here in Piñones. Just one street, lots of restaurants, right along the beach. I want you guys to know, don't come on a Monday. Uh, most things in Puerto Rico are closed on Monday because, you know, after the weekend, everybody's chilling. Most restaurants are closed. Here, half the places are closed right now. But there's a few of them here that are open. I think I'm gonna have some mariscos as well, so some seafood. I need to have mofongo. This place looks great. Our second stop here in Piñones is Los Bariles Restaurant. It's right here on the water. It's an open air restaurant. They have a pool table. You can see them cooking the food. And here I came to have mofongo, and here we have it. On the side you have like shrimp, octopus, fish. I mean, I got a, a mix of seafood. The mofongo is plantain with garlic made into like a, a mash, and they put together. And I also got a pina colada with cherries. This is a, a non-virgin pina colada, so there's alcohol in this. Delicious. Let's dive into this dish. These are the type of places I like to come to, you know, really real, rustic. And I'm super excited because I've only had a phone like one time in my life. Wow, it's amazing. Mm. The seafood's so fresh. And the mofongo, you can definitely taste the garlic. The mofongo's delicious. So the, the plantain and the garlic really mix well together. And it's very like pasty. And the best thing to do is obviously mix it with the seafood. Oh wow. I love mofongo. It's so different. It, it's funny how this is very traditional here and you never see it anywhere else in, in the Caribbean or basically the world. What I like about the mofongo is that it's not salty. There's some peppers and there's some spice. I mean, a tiny bit of something in there, but nothing too crazy. It's more like a dry taste. And you have to mix it with something. I mean, you can eat it just regular, like alone, but I'd recommend mixing with a fish. Mm. The shrimp, though, the shrimp are amazing. Oh, wow. This is one amazing dish. So, there's a mojito sauce. Mm. Basically, more garlic. Garlic, garlic, garlic. Very Caribbean. This was amazing. Pinones has a beautiful beach, you can see. A lot of families out right now. Everybody's basking in the sun. It's a little windy. And what they were telling me is that this like haze that we have, this is from the Sahara. And they have a boardwalk. This boardwalk goes along the entire beach. And the airport's right here. That's why we have all these planes passing through. I gotta walk off all this food. Let's see what else we find around here. Oh, this place has ostras. So this place has oysters right here. So this kiosco or this hut is called Ostiones Vivos, which means live oysters. The owner, what he does is he goes out every day and he gets oysters. These are Puerto Rican oysters. They're a little different. They're smaller and obviously they're a warmer water oyster. Mm. Oh, delicious. I'm all about oysters. Mm. It costs five US dollars for six oysters. Not bad. Mm. That's the way you eat oysters, guys. You gotta fill it up with some lemon and slurp it. Mm. Wow, those oysters were so good. I'm all about seafood. I can eat seafood all day, every day. That's what I love about visiting islands. Just seafood, seafood, seafood. I mean, there's so many places here. I mean, you can just keep going, but all of them have the, the typical thing, which is like a purias. They have, um, what are these, empanadas. They have pinchos. 
So many good things. Let's see what else we find. Next up, we're here at Sabor de Piñones, and that means the flavors of this area, Piñones. And we're going with the Piononos, and this is made out of a yellow plantain, and it's stuffed with meat. Look at this. As you can see, everything we've been eating today is, uh, is fried. Mmm! This is delicious. This is more like a sweet... Wow, look at that. It tastes almost like a maduro. Very sweet. It's almost like a fried dessert, in a way. Perfect way to end the day here. Mmm. So mushy, a lot of meat in here. It's almost identical to a maduro. Like maduro is like a, a plantain, I guess it's a, a yellow plantain, but the way they make it, Cubans make it, just has the same taste. As you can see, it's stuffed with meat, stuffed. Oh, this is a must. And this one is a relleno de papas. And it also has, so it's a potato, relleno de potato, so it's filled with potato, it's fried, and it also has meat. As you can see, my hands are full of grease. So here you can see all the potato, like the mashed potato, the meat. It's pretty good. You've never had like mashed potato with minced meat together. It's almost the same thing, but then it's fried. It has to be fried, right? The other one's amazing. It's just so sweet. And I think I needed this at this point in the day after five different dishes. And right now it's like 95 degrees here. So hot. When you come here, I recommend bringing water and sunblock because you're walking the whole thing. If you're walking the strip, you're walking on the beach, you're gonna burn. I covered myself, I basically drenched myself in sunblock. I don't wanna burn because I'm so white, I turned like pink. Oh, incredible, we tried five delicious Puerto Rican street foods. Everything was fried, except the mofongo. Tried bajaditos, eh, la calporias, eh, piononos, eh, papas rellenas, and mofongo with octopus, shrimp, and fish. My favorite thing personally, the uh, pionono's was really good just because it was like a very sweet, crispy, uh, it was so delicious. Uh, and then I don't know, I think the bacaladito was amazing too. Uh, everything was so good. The only thing is you gotta know this is all fried, most of it. Uh, what wasn't fried? <laughs> the best thing to do is catch an Uber from San Juan to Piñones and Bring a lot of sunscreen, bring water. If you're here in the summer, it's really hot. I dehydrated, I had a pina colada, I had a beer, and a lot of water. It's a must do when you're here in Puerto Rico. Next time you visit, definitely check it out. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you on the next adventure.